I am insanely pro jorts. I am anti jorts all the way. Anti jorts. I don't like the term jort for the purposes of my segment. I would like to call them shorts. I didn't know the phrase jorts, but I guess now I'm pro jorts. <laughs> I feel like jort is a dirty word. They're like the long ones with the cutoffs that boys wear. Just say jean short. It's ridiculous. I would prefer to wear jeans over shorts just because I don't want to shave my legs and I don't want to put on lotion. So if I don't have to, I won't do it. But if it's really hot out, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I guess I'll shave. These are like 90 degree weather pair of shorts. When it's hot, you just want to be able to breathe and you're going out and you know no one really cares what you look like at that point. I'm from Texas and so back down in the South, this is just the uniform. In the summer, that's pretty much all I'm wearing is denim shorts just because they give me some movement, but also full coverage. If you can wear shorts, they look good on you, like that's your thing, you should do it. It's just not a thing for me. I have very long legs and I have tried them over the years to find the perfect pair and they're usually too short, too tight in the crotch, or too long. My biggest fit issue is they usually don't fit me in the waist. Short shorts never fit me right in the waist because I don't have a lot of booty. So whenever I wear shorts, they just kind of slide down. That's the misconception is that all plus size girls have like booty and hips, but that's not true. Like, I don't have a lot of hip, I don't have a lot of butt. If jean shorts are too short, they definitely like rise in the center and they give you like a wedgie. You know, sometimes you put on shorts and they're just like, Ugh! like constricting and you, I want like a nice, like stretchy pair. Sometimes they can have the same dilemma that jeans do, which is that they can be tight in some places and loose in some places. A little bit tighter to the skin so that if I'm moving around or if I wanna like hop on a bike or do whatever, like I know they're staying put. I like the rise on these because I have a long torso so they cut off right at my waist. My perfect pair of shorts is high rise. I like to do a lot of movement. I'm a very animated person. So high rise so that way nothing, you know, makes a surprise appearance at the top. They're also like kind of long compared to what I would think. Like I would normally think of jorts as being like Daisy Dukes. These are Daisy Dukes. They are short shorts. I do feel a little insecure because I don't often wear shorts that are these short for me. They're too short, they show a little bit more upper thigh going on here than, than I prefer just because body insecurities, that fun stuff. I wouldn't mind it if it was like a tiny little bit longer, but definitely not shorter because I already tried bending down and I could feel my whole butt was out, so. I don't mind my shorts short, but this is like a perfect, appropriate length. If they're too Short, my thighs will literally create fire. It'll be first man situation, like two rocks, boosh, burst into flames. I try to keep the shorts where that doesn't happen as much, but it's a hit or miss. You gotta really buy the right ones. I have big thighs, and so you're gonna get the chub rub, and they ride up a lot. My method and my antidote is to take a stick of deodorant, rub my thighs, and hope for the best. In general, shorts get such a bad rap for being like, oh, you're gross. And it's like, no, you can literally do anything with them. I feel like I'm Daisy Duke. I'm part of the Deuce of Hazard. I'm definitely gonna wear these this summer. If you tell me you never wear denim shorts, I would say you're doing it wrong. They go with everything. Just try them on, find that right pair, and you'll be in love.